Well guys, I did it. I finally got myself a flash dryer. I know, this whole time I've been screen printing, I, have, I haven't even had a flash dryer and I've just been getting by with a heat gun and a heat press. But now it is time for me to put on my big boy screen printing pants and finally do things the sort of correct way. Up until now, I have been using this thing as a quick uh, flash in between colors. And in the uh, early days, uh, as a method of actually curing my prints. Drying ink with this thing is really just a pain. It's, it's, it's not efficient. Uh, it's not consistent. It might not be the worst way to cure your ink, but it's definitely up there. It might just be slightly above putting your t-shirt in the oven. But then a few weeks ago, I said enough is enough. It is time for me to get one of these. A flash dryer. And so now it is finally time to put this thing to the test. And that test is flash dryer versus heat gun. try a couple different graphics, uh, both on a black tee, but one is an all white print, and then one is a uh, white underbase with another color on top of it. Both prints are gonna utilize like a print flash print kind of technique, um, but we're gonna use both the flash dryer and the heat gun and see how much time we save. Obviously having a flash dryer helps you save time uh, when you're in production, but the question is, do you need a flash dryer? Well, technically you don't need a flash dryer. I mean, I've been getting by without one. If you're stubborn like I am, then you will spend as little money as you have to to get started in screen printing. But I gotta say, when you're starting, if I were to do it again, I would try to budget some money aside just for a flash dryer because it really is essential. This flash dryer I got from Nevertheless Screen Printing. It's kind of like an entry-level infrared flash dryer. Uh, it was about $400. I know Ryonet has their entry-level flash dryer for about $400. I don't really want to recommend one over the other because I haven't time tested this one, but I would say that you definitely want to get an infrared flash dryer as opposed to the coil kind. Uh, the coil kind are uh, generally cheaper, but they're uh, lower quality, less consistent, and from what I understand, you might as well just be putting your shirt in an oven. I wonder if we should try that. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.